Hi everybody, this is the Nostalgic Dragon, a booktube channel where I talk about fantasy books and mythological books. Today I'm going to present my uh, TBR list for the winter to be read, I suppose. That's the abbreviation of it. And um, I'm not so fond of TBR lists. They can easily become a burden. I'm a... Uh, uh, maybe not so slow reader, but maybe medium paced and I sometimes like to read really slow and if I have this long long uh, list of books I sometimes might uh, get a bit uh, tired just looking at the pile. So my TBR list is a TBR as long as it is a TBR. So um, that sounds maybe non-beneficial for you, but uh, if I pile up 20 books here or so, something like that uh, i will never read them so by doing this uh, tbr as long as it is a tbr uh you will also benefit from that when i'm uh, to uh, telling you about the books i've read later so the first books uh, i will read uh i've read partly but not ho uh, the full book is the enc esselmont uh, path of ascendancy Many of you have maybe read it or recognize it. If you've read it, you can briefly tell me what you thought about the book uh, and his books. Um, I know that uh, prose is very, very different from Steven Erickson. Uh, and I know that you should uh, read e Ian C's books as his you know, own distinctive style and not compare with Erickson. Um, as you know, I've been stuck in uh, Erickson's Malasan books for a long time and um, it's it's first now I can you know take a step back and I think really enjoy the the writing that ENC does and the contribution he does to the uh, Malasan universe as well so there are three books I have it's uh, the Dance's Lament it's the second book Dead House Landing and it's also the third book um Kellanved's Reach like this will be very exciting. Uh I'm always reading Malasan at the moment. So uh I know on Booktube you, you don't count rereads. Um I will not do that if I you know make a list of what I've read, but I'm always reading Malasan. It's like my basmati rice or uh, maybe you eat potatoes as the staple food so malasan is my staple food and i know many of you are interested on uh, in my thoughts about malasan and i promise you I, I will make videos on that very soon um uh, but uh, i want to do it uh, maybe not real good but i'm uh, I want to give you uh, some some of my deeper thoughts uh, around the Malasan world and the uh, big 10 books. So it will come soon. You just have to wait a little bit. I'm looking forward to, to that, of course. I will uh, read the um, Patrick Rothfuss, The Name of the Wind. I have a friend, good friend. He's reading this in Swedish. So it's interesting to discuss and, and compare. Um, yeah, you, maybe you know the story, uh, The Name of the Wind. It's a very different book from, from Malasan and you uh, follow uh, one character, as I have understood it mostly. Um, it feels uh, like quite a quite cozy book to have, uh, especially when it's snowing outside like it uh, does now here in Sweden. Another book which uh, I sometimes find interesting, sometimes I feel there is some similarities between this book and Malasan, it's Dune. Not a new book for some of you, uh, I haven't read it, I haven't watched a movie even, so this is very new to me. So I'm looking forward to, to read Dune and also to talk about Dune. And um, the literary genres, uh, it's a bit um, uh, I don't think it's so good that you make these strong distinctions between fantasy, science fiction and any other kind of genre because they uh, intertwine, they go into each other. So 
what you can find in uh, Star Wars, for example, you, you can find in uh, fantasy books, uh, of course. So um, um, Dune will be very interesting uh, from that perspective. A few years ago, I read the Isaac Asimov books. Uh, I, I think you recognize them as well, um, which I liked a lot. So um, I told you before that Tolkien is not something I used to read so much nowadays, but I have some books in my bookshelves I haven't read by Tolkien. It's edited by Christopher Tolkien. It's Beren and Luthien. What I understand, not a complete story. It's uh, bits and pieces. Uh, I think it's quite readable. We'll see. Beren and Luthien. Um, an interesting tale, of course, between these two. Uh, uh, a romance, if I'm correctly informed. I will also read the, another book uh, by Tolkien, and it's The Fall of Gondolin. Mentioned in The Lord of the Rings and uh, other works by Tolkien, uh, just mentioning these kind of uh, wars or uh, old books uh, creates myth, I think. So Tolkien was a master on this, so I will read it. As well looking forward to that I have other books um, for me to read I usually have a kind of reading diet uh, I would like to talk to about about uh, about that with you about your reading diet you know you can't uh, just only eat potatoes or uh, uh, chicken you have to eat uh, other food maybe salad or uh, drink something you can't drink beer every day obviously uh, but you you maybe you can drink water drink something lighter so uh, i mix these kind of uh, books uh, with uh, um, philosophy books and um, as you know i'm interested in yoga and uh, yogic practices there are different around the world different names uh, there are different yoga systems the moment I'm reading a lot about Taoism so this is the book of Chuang Tzu and um, more or less um, understandable stories uh, these kind of stories in Taoism Zen is supposed you should, are supposed to chew on them maybe when you meditate or just walk around in the forest and uh, the meaning is not always so clear when you read them uh, the first time this one I'm looking forward to, and uh, you know, no ambition, nowhere to go. We have uh, our temple in our heart and soul. Um, for those who haven't watched my videos, uh, the Iliad, I see if I can uh, put it right this time. I will read the Iliad. And unfortunately, my Kindle is uh, not charged. On my Kindle, I have Philip Chase's book, The Way of Eden. That's a book I will read during this winter. I'm looking forward to that and to talk about the book. And maybe, Philip, if you are interested, I would like to talk with you about your book. Uh, I'm very interested in the book itself and also the process of writing a, a fantasy book. I would be very happy if you would like to talk to me about that. And as I told you, I have this uh, staple food. It's a house of chains at the moment. I'm 120 pages in. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. I know some of you are reading this book series for the first time, but um, I can say that the style, writing style, especially initially in House of Chains and initially in Ericsson's terms can mean many hundred pages is very different from, from the first three books. And um, it's a different story arc, uh, partly. And uh, for me, I for some who read Malasan, they think that's confusing. You are, are at different continents. You meet different groups of people. If you, read, if you write a, a long series like 10 books, I think that's uh, necessary. Uh, at least for me, otherwise I would get bored. Uh, and to see Ericsson write in these different writing styles and techniques that he uses is just amazing. He's a fantastic author. Uh, so uh, there will be videos on Malasan 
it's not a TBR uh, things or a review so of what I've recently read. I've read my last one for I think four years now. So that will be something different that I'm looking forward to to share with you. So that this was my um, winter TBR. Uh, and um, please comment. Uh, maybe you have some other ideas of what I should read. If not in the winter, so maybe later this year. And um, maybe you've read some of the books. Write something about uh, your reflections in the comment field below. Um, if you are watching this and haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, you are very welcome. If you want to communicate with me more directly, you can do it on X or here at YouTube as well. So... Um, Thank you so much and uh, we'll see you later uh, this weekend. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.